Hello Cancer, thank you for clicking on my channel and welcome to the journey home. My name is Catherine. We're going to do a week ahead reading for you. My apologies if last week's was freezing, many of them did, but I've worked on fixing those issues and I think we're good to go. So let's get a spiritual message for Cancer for the week ahead. All cards were pre-shuffled, but I'm just doing a little hand over here to make sure here we go ahead of your reading we have conflict is this inner conflict or outer conflict is this within yourself or is someone getting on your nerves queen of fire the hanged man two of earth justice eight of fire and a six of fire so so far we're seeing for signs we're seeing um Pisces, Aries, Libra. If you're dealing with those, those are the energies that are around you or affecting you. We have confidence. Whether this is conflict, this could be conflict, outer conflict, and you're quite confident. This could be someone that you're attracted to as well. Could be that you're dealing with an Aries. But we're going to focus on you. This is about this confidence building. If you're an entrepreneur, you're, uh, you've got the energies around you that you can reach out and make an accomplishment of some kind, whether it is in career or in love or both. You have the energies around you. You've got divine feminine energy in your lap and you can just, it's there for the taking. This is about the law of attraction, bringing in what you desire, turning heads, yeah, oozing confidence. Now, at the heart of your reading, we have you on pause, probably because of this conflict. Um, pause, trying to look at things from a different perspective, maybe trying to see it from the other person's point of view. Trying not to get too much up in your head about it, because you're working, you're busy, you're juggling, multitasking. Maybe that's what helps you think sort things out in your mind some of you are like that you know like i need to think about it so i'm i'm gonna go to work we have justice which is balancing and the number 11 so if this is about a relationship it's finding that balance in the relationship maybe it's about balance between work and love communications are going to open up for you regarding this conflict and the resolution of it. But the final outcome here is you rising above the rest. Rising above the rest. Recognition of who you are and reward. And here you are coming out of the maze through that communication with the help of a spirit guide. Let's clarify this spread. You're going to find a balance once this communication starts to flow. If you're in pause, like it's at the heart of your reading, it's possible that you're just needing to, and maybe through, you know, being busy, you're just sorting it out in your head before you have this communication. Finding that balance and fairness. Base chakra, conflict. So we've got... <laughs> What are you conflicted about, Cancer? Because this looks like the arousal of something new. Maybe you're wondering if it's the right thing to do. The right way to go. It's that I want feeling. Love begins. Some of you, this is about new love. For others, it's about rebirth of a current love. Love begins. You've attracted someone new. Maybe that's what you're conflicted about. Do I want to go ahead with this person? Wisdom. Taurus energy. On Pisces energy. So we have someone who is... Uh, uh, hmm. There's change going on here. Change in the way you're thinking. Change in the way you look at things. Change looking at things um, almost pragmatically. But at the same... There's that balance pragmatically but with emotion 
which cancers are so good at. Material and spiritual prosperity. Yep. During that, you know, workout session or being busy to keep your mind distracted. Uh, it could be at work that you're being distracted. That's the material prosperity. But there's spiritual prosperity taking place here because it's affording you the time to weigh things out in which way you want to go, direction you want to go, harmony. This is a... Uh, this is a... Look at the sixes here. Holy smokes. This is a deep, connected love coming towards you here. Pisces energy once again. The shadow. Something mysterious is going to be revealed to you. This person may just open up and say, Hey, I have deep feelings for you. Again, this looks like balance. Accepting the dark with the light. Balancing them within yourself. Within this communication with this person. You're my yin to my yang. Or you're my yang to my yin. All right. We have deception and envy. So this person or you are hiding your feelings. But I get more of the feeling that someone is envious of this recognition. These accomplishments that you are making. Because they look quite passionate. This looks like a real, well, a humdinger of a passionate kind of love last clarifiers uh, a little stressful hey this conflict many things all it's all happening at once you don't want to rush into things but things are changing so fast. Uh, somebody really turns you on, but it might be going, you might be stressed because you're not sure if you're doing the right thing. It really does look like you're doing the right thing here or you make the right decisions. Two of Autumn, again, busy, really busy. Multitasking, juggling. Are you juggling two people or torn between two people? Or, Cancer, for some of you, this is about juggling between love and work. Love and uh, school, you know, studying for that PhD or whatever, that career. You're juggling. The Emperor, wow. Taking control. Firm but compassionate leader. This person is wise. This could be you taking on con that control, making wise decisions. Six of winter, positive changes. Relief from troubled times. Whatever you're conflicted about, that's about to end. You may even be traveling, but this looks like maybe for some of you, even a change of career, the completion of a project, the uh, ascendance to higher degrees. Six of spring. Wonderful news. This could lead to marriage. This is public recognition. This looks like it might lead to marriage. Um, Whatever that conflict is about, you're balancing this out. Making good choices here. Choices in love. Choices in business. The dreamer. That leap of faith. The zero point field, the magic of numerology, the new adventure, trusting yourself through this communication. Something lovely is about to be revealed to you through this communication. That's going to, it's going to be like, it's going to be the uh, decider of taking that leap of faith. And wow. All right, someone's either really, really, really jealous of you coming into union 
um, ascending to a higher level of commitment, deep feelings that are being realized. There's peace. A contented personal life. Someone doesn't like it. You're just rising so bloody high and gloriously that maybe someone's just feeling like, oh, why can't that happen to me? Or why can't cancer feel that way to me? This could also mean someone feels long-term and they're just hiding and their feelings, hiding their emotions. We could reverse all of this and saying that this is this person that you're thinking about, their reading. They're going to come around. What's the message for love for cancer? What's the love message for cancer for the week ahead? Your love life is influenced by religious upbringing, spiritual paths. Perhaps you guys are realizing you're on the same spiritual paths. Being drawn together. Law of attraction. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together so you're connecting already. If, if you have not met this person yet, you're already connected. Your love life is being affected by children. Your children. Their children. Some children. Express your love. Go ahead and make that romantic gesture. It will open up those lines of communications. It will reveal what is hidden. You know, maybe this person is afraid to say how they feel about you. And it will lead to a leap of faith. Well, I hope that helped Cancer. And if you would like to join me on the live nights, I like pulling free cards for the party in the chat. Everything's in the description below. God bless you, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.